the Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode will tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Toronto. Winnipeg sits on Jason Parker's table, ravaged by a pandemic, famine, and vigilante justice. Parker's students watched the tabletop model of the dystopian city through a video conference call, trying to decipher the scenario in front of them. Welcome to the COVID-19 world of universities where social distancing is enforced, but students still need to work together for group activities. Parker is a biology professor at University of Toronto Mississauga. One of his courses, Digital Health Technologies, focuses on health and regulatory issues, data science, business and technology. Amidst COVID-19 and social distancing, how do you design an orientation exercise to get students to get to know one another and bond with each other, especially for a group that will be together for the next 2 years? Parker turned to a personal hobby. tabletop role playing games the dungeons and dragons and world of warcraft player regularly video conferences with members of his monthly gaming group who are unable to attend in person for the orientation exercise parker designed and created a post apocalyptic winnipeg tabletop model complete with miniature action figures model buildings and materials created with a 3d printer students join via video conference and can view the tabletop Parker designed a choose your own adventure that gets players to roll the dice, navigate the city and explain scenarios that they discover. The clues introduce future course concepts like clinical trial registrations, the nature of vaccine development or technologies like 3D printing. Successful teams need to connect at a personal level. You can't always talk academics. You also need the soft skills of simple conversation. the personal connection helps teams to work together during challenging times informal interactions like playing games together helps students to get to know one another and work with one another before starting on a formal group project rather than finding out about each other's communication and working styles later in the year parker's tabletop orientation exercise is helping break the ice and getting students to jump right into the next assignment This story was adapted from Blake Eli's UFT news article UFT Mississauga professor designs dystopian role playing game to engage students remotely.